Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing good today and welcome to the today's video. So today we're going to talk about something on the comparison, which is basically with traffic versus Nginx. So traffic and Nginx is one of the most important topic. It should be known by all DevOps and SRE people. So that's the reason we took this particular topic on today's video. So we, can, we will be discussing about what uh, the comparison and we'll be discussing about the performance, like what's the latency rate, throughput, data transfer and all those things. So just get into the video, what we're going to discuss now. Okay, the first one, which we're going to talk about is purpose. Traffic is a modern reverse proxy and load balancer that can automatically configure its based on the service it's discovered. On another end, Nginx is a web server, reverse proxy, and just a load balancer. Performance. However, traffic is catching up in terms of performance, and it may be a better choice for applications that requires a dynamics routing and load balancer. And Nginx is generally considered to be a fast and faster than traffic. Configuration. So Nginx has more complex configuration than traffic, and this is because Nginx is more mature product with more feature. And traffic configuration is simpler, but it is also a less flexible. Features, and this should be known it. Uh, Nginx has a wide range of features than traffic. This includes support of HTTP, HTTP2, uh, SD, SPDUI, and GZIP comparison. And traffic is still under the development, but it is adding a new feature all the time. Support. So Nginx has a large community of users and developers than traffic. This means that there is more documentation and support available for Nginx. And for traffic, the community is growing, but it is not large as the Nginx community. Cost, cost wise, it's Nginx is free and open source. Same for the traffic. It's an free and open source, but it is, has to be a paid enterprise edition that adds the additional feature. Licensing. Uh, Nginx is licensed under BSD license and traffic is licensed under, under Apache 2.0 license. Documentation. Nginx has extensive documentation that is available online in traffic. And documentation is still under the development, but it is growing rapidly. Community. So Nginx has a large and active uh, community of users and developers and traffic is growing, but it is not as large as Nginx community. Okay, now this is an important thing that you should be knowing it. So we will be talking about the performance overview with comparing of Nginx and traffic. So the response rate, if you look at the response rate, like the Nginx has slight faster resp response rate than traffic. So this was taken a lot of performance tests and load tests. And that we identified Nginx is pretty high, fast response rate than traffic. And comparing to the latency rate, and uh, latency rate as the Nginx is uh, winning actually here, the Nginx has a slight lower latency rate than traffic and throughput and the Nginx has slight higher throughput than traffic as well. And data speed rate is right similar like Nginx is slightly higher data speed rather than traffic. So basically the Nginx is winning than comparing with traffic here. So this is the uh, the overall the performance view. So response rate, it took 100 milliseconds for Nginx and traffic, it took 120 milliseconds. And combined, coming to the latency rate, it took 10 milliseconds and traffic is taking around 15 milliseconds. And throughput, so it is taking 1000 requests per second and in tra traffic, it is taking 800 requests per second. So data speed rate is 1000 Mbps and traffic data speed rate is 80 Mbps. So that's all I have guys. I hope you might have liked this video. Please do subscribe and thank you so much.